This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Talk yeah, about the new have. World Tag Team Champions. That's another the subject. Rock and Roll Express. Very close to my heart. We got a VTR of exactly what happened, and I want everybody all over the country to see it just so they will see that I'm right all along. Right here, you see it. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Bobby Eaton comes down off the top rope, and that right there was a devastating elbow. Probably a ruptured, maybe a cracked sternum on Robert Gibson. These guys were beaten for 30 solid minutes. This match went on, and we kicked their brains out the entire time. They took the worst beating that anybody has ever suffered since they've been professional wrestling they never saw the light of day we literally beat them into the ground for 30 solid minutes just as we have ever since we won the titles from them you asked the rock and roll express how many times they got beat up at the hands of the midnight express how many times we gave them title matches and they couldn't get the belts back then you go to america's team you asked dusty Rhodes and magnum ta did the midnight express get in there and give them a title shot yes not once but a couple of dozen times you go and ask the road warriors did they get a title shot yes they did not once but several times and nobody for six and a half months could take the world tag team championship away from the midnight express by hooker by crook we got in the ring with the best teams of professional wrestling and none of them took the belts off the midnight express and now you see the one offensive move that ricky morton had throughout the entire match just at 30 minutes in we have beat their stinking brains out of those two goofy punks for the entire time and now you see right there robert gibson coming in illegally trying to attack my man beautiful bobby lover boy dennis has ricky morton in command there and bobby just comes down with the coup de gras right across the back of ricky morton's head and that was about the umpteenth time in that match that we had him pinned and the referee was too slow or too stupid and there you see but Robert Gibson comes in and stops the certain three count. Bobby's we had him down for a count man. of three and Robert Gibson came in and stopped the certain three count and now you see Ricky Morton on the outside of the ring. My men are taking care of Robert Gibson and if you will also notice beautiful Bobby is the legal man in the ring at this time. And what he happens? A minute ago. What happened? He, well, he is now. And what happens? The referee turns around, and the only quick count that he makes all night is for the Rock and Roll Express. Ricky Morton pinned the illegal man after Robert Gibson stopped a certain pin by my men, which was one of umpteen we had. To Do you see that fucking crowd? Yeah, man. We are going to come back after you. We will take those World Tag Team titles. You have not seen the last of the Midnight Express. We are still the greatest team in professional wrestling history. Always have been, always will be, but and we will. The champion. We will be before too long, Tony Schiavone, because Rock and Roll Express, we got some dire things planned for you, We're just like we do for Dusty Rhodes. Shut up. We're coming right back. Dude, that crowd, I mean, it was like CM Punk just came out. That was unbelievable, the pop that the Rock and Roll's got winning. And, and for and for Philadelphia, too, right? That's unbelievable. not not, a, not a, in the South. Let me ask you this. I, I, I don't know if we're going to experience it here. I guess we are as we go along here throughout the years and, and talk about the quote-unquote good old days. But when did Rock and Roll Express cease to become cool? Because it did change. And it, it's kind of like, you know, disco in the seventies. Yeah, it, it just died a lot, seemingly overnight. Right. And, and, and the, uh, the event they had at uh, Comiskey park in, in Chicago, where they blew up all the records that night. And, uh, that had a lot to do with it. But, uh, and if you watch the BG's documentary, you'll see how that all played out, but the rocket there was, the, and I, and I guess moving along here by the time I got back. After my one year in the WWF, by the time I got back, Rock and Roll Express, its popularity waned. Yeah. I guess the young girls grew up and the next girls that came in were not that much. Do you think it was like, uh, I don't know, late 88, August, September 88? Because didn't Robert Gibson get hurt or he let so Gibson's out of there by like the fall of 88. So it okay. feels like. It, it lasts about two more years. And then I saw right. wrote. Yeah. Just goes to show you that how quickly things change in pro wrestling and they do not you just know, pro I mean, wrestling, but pop culture. Yeah. Yeah. That that's a good point. Absolutely. I mean, look how hot WCW was. And in reality, that was, that was not just a handful of years, right? That was like three years. Yeah. 90, uh, 95, 96, 97. Oh, eight. Here's Murdoch. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. 
Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.